What? Am I, am I talking? Hi y'all, welcome to the Mountain Kitchen. We are perfecting our pastrami recipe. Here we have a brisket fat that's already been pretty trimmed by the butcher. We're gonna leave this fat cap on here. And we've made up a brine solution, which it will be in the brine and in the refrigerator for a week. And we have this meat curing salt. Tender quick is called. This is one of the most important ingredients you can put into your brine. So we'll see y'all in a week when we put this on the smoke. to the mountain kitchen. What I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to make a pastrami from this brisket fat. So it's not much more different than smoking a regular brisket except for where we had to brine it for seven days in a solution of salt and other spices. So now that we've got it brined and we've patted it, rinsed it off and patted it dry, we're going to try this for our fourth time, I believe. We did it with a chuck roast, which turned out pretty good. And then we did it with two other briskets, but one of them was way too salty. Uh, one of them didn't cure long enough where we cut back on the curing time and it had gray spots in it. So now we find a new brine that we like and we're gonna put this rub on it that'll be in, in the recipe. If you don't do nothing else to it, at least put whole peppercorns and maybe some curry on it when you get right to smoke it. As you can see, it's already been trimmed by the butcher. All we did was put it in the brine last Saturday, which is a week. And we're gonna leave the fat cap on it. And we're gonna smoke it with that side up. So right now we're gonna apply some rub to this side. And get this thing on the grill. It's really cold up here on the mountain today. Ice all over the deck. You see the whole peppercorns, the curry on seed. Brown mustard. All right, so we got a nice, nice coating of rub on there. So we're gonna take it outside and put it on the Weber cap. Welcome outside here in this snowy wonderland. But to the Weber kettle, we got it set up what was called the snake method. We're gonna be using a pan of water here. So we're going to add some warm water to it. I recommend using the warm water so the grill don't have to take as long to heat it up. And if you have to add any water during your cook, make sure you heat the water. Never add cold water. That will cut your, temp cut your temperature of your grill down and increase your cooking time. So we're going to be using the Thermal Works to monitor the meat temperature and the grill temperature. You can get that on the website in the link. I highly recommend it's a very good product. So, all right, here we go. We're gonna put this brisket on now. I know you, some of you are wondering why we only rubbed the one side, because we wanna like put the meat on the grill. As you see, all the rub just fell off. So we wanna make sure we get a good coat on it while it's on the grill. Once again, we're gonna be smoking this. Put the fat cap up. Just, it really doesn't matter. Some people say it does. I just like to do it this way. I'm gonna be using maple wood. Smells amazing already. Get a nice coat on here for, just to help form my bark. Smoke this two, two and a half, three hours till we get the color we want. Then we're gonna wrap it, kick up our temperature and get the internal temperature of about 210 degrees. So when we chop it up, it'll be nice and tender. Now, this is our first attempt at doing this pastrami on the kettle. We normally do it on the water smoker, but because of the temperature out here today, we feel like the kettle will run better for us in this cold temperature. We're gonna use the snake method, like I said, and that way we don't have to constantly feed it charcoal and wood. It'll pretty much cook for us while we stay in the house. 
Like I said a while ago, we're going to be using the Smoke by Thermal Works. It's a fabulous product. We have one already here on the grate. And this one we'll put in the thickest part of the brisket. And this will monitor our meat tension throughout the day. We have an indoor receiver on the inside. It'll be sending us a signal to that so we don't have to run out here and look at it. So let's get it covered up. Alright, how y'all? We're gonna take a look at our pastrami. Smoking along pretty nice. We're running a good temperature. And it's gone down pretty fast when we take the lid off because like I said, it's pretty chilly out here. The snake method is working good. We um got some more maple wood just gonna catch up and get us a nice bark on there. We we'll put another piece in. Should be able to smoke another two hours, it looks like, right now. So, three hours in, so this is about halfway. So, maybe another two, three hours. It should be good to go. Then we can wrap it and shoot up our temperature. What's going on, dear? We had to move our uh, probe for the grill temperature. It was saying 400 degrees. Um, I think it's because of where I had put it, the coals got hot right underneath it and was giving us a false reading. So we're going to move it around here to the front where there are no coals. And I'm able to do that because of these nifty little gloves I have on here, which you can also find in the, on the website. Hey y'all, we got an internal temp now, 166. It's pretty good and our bark is pretty, a nice beautiful color on here. So we're gonna take it up now and wrap it up in tinfoil and then put it back on the grill. I got another pair of gloves on here. It's a cotton glove with a rubber glove over top of it. Makes handling meat really nice. We're gonna put it in the tinfoil. We're going to wrap it as tight as we can. Still cold out here. Smells amazing. So nice. Tight wrap on here. Wrap good, so we're gonna take our water pan out and uh, stoke up the grill, get the temperature up on the grill, and get the temperature up on the meat. We're looking for 210 on the internal temp, and then it should be nice and tender, pull apart, and make a good sandwich. All right, got some nice hot bed of coals here. Now we're gonna dump out. Heat back on. Let's get an internal temp of 210 degrees. Nice hot charcoal. Still really cold out here. The wind's blowing. That's hot. Put our grate back on. Juicing. We'll put our probe back on here so we can monitor our temperature again. All right, we'll get the lid on it. Get our temperature up. Hopefully, no more than 40 45 minutes an hour, and then we'll be good to go. y'all here we go we finally reached our low temperature of 210 so we're gonna take the pastrami up now let it rest for at least 30 minutes longer if you can is better 
And then we're gonna slice it up and make a pastrami Reuben sandwich. It's gotten really cold out here. It's been a long day, but this meat should be worth it. All right, y'all, here we go. We've had our brisket resting, resting for about an hour now. And earlier as when I was out on the grill, I had placed it on direct heat, which was a bad thing. I could hear it actually sizzling in the aluminum foil. So I had to move it over and slide the coals to one side. And so we had an indirect action going on. We had the temperature doing good. It come up very slow to our 210 goal. So now we're gonna take it out of off of this cutting board and see if we can get it in this casserole so we can catch any of the juices that may have gathered in here. Let's see if we can get it unwrapped. It smells really good. So got it out here on our cutting board now. Let's see if we can get some slices off of it. Really juicy, very tender. All right, let's get a taste on it. It's really tender. Pull it right apart. Not overly salty. I'm getting the hint of the smoke. The uh, good rub we put on here. It's really good pastrami. I really recommend you try this recipe. And if you do try it, you like it give us a thumbs up if there's something you'd like to see us cook please let us know and for this and more recipes from mountainkitchen.com hey y'all this is like amazing pastrami the flavor on it is just incredible with this the brine this rub the smoke I, I can't say enough about how good this has turned out. So tender, flavorful, and juicy. Please try this pastrami. <laughs>